only on www.royal-mechanical.com. Free internship for mechanical engineers. Learn Katya V5 for free. Learn for free. How mechanical engineers can get jobs. Learn for free. Mechanical engineering interview questions and answers and simple spoken English for mechanical engineers to succeed in job interviews. Welcome. In this e-learning module, I shall explain in detail how to calculate the material utilization as part of the strip layout design for the blanking die for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. In this e-learning module, we shall also complete the fifth step of the strip layout design procedure to calculate utilization. Before we get started with the utilization calculations, let's calculate the strip width for both options. Option 1, slit along the length of sheet metal. Option 2, slit along the width of the sheet metal. The strip width will be equal to the shape opening's length or width, depending on the orientation, plus 2 times the edge bridge. By substituting the values, we calculate the strip width is equal to 71.446 mm for option 1 and 32.946 mm for option 2. Now let's get started with the utilization calculations. First, let's calculate the utilization for option 1, slit along the length of sheet metal. The calculated strip width for option 1 is 71.446 mm. Refer to the general tolerances for linear dimension. Consider medium tolerance class for the strip width. The tolerance value shall be plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. So, the strip width for option 1 will be 71.446 plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. The maximum material condition MMC for the strip width for option 1 will be 71.746 millimeters. Divide the sheet metal's width by the MMC of the strip width, to calculate the number of strips produced from the sheet metal. We will get 13.9 strips. Practically 0.9 strip is of no use. Hence, we can utilize only 13 strips. Divide the length of the sheet metal by the pitch, to calculate the number of components that can be produced per strip. We will get 91.1 components. Practically 0.1 component is of no use. Hence, we can utilize only 91 components per strip. Multiply the number of strips per sheet metal, and the number of components per strip to calculate the total number of components per sheet metal. So, by slitting the sheet metal along its length, we can produce 1183 components. Now let's calculate the utilization for option 2, slit along the width of sheet metal. The calculated strip width for option 2 is 32.946 mm. Refer to the general tolerances for linear dimension. Consider medium tolerance class for the strip width. The tolerance value shall be plus or minus 0.3 mm. So, the strip width for option 2 will be 32.946 plus or minus 0.3 mm. The maximum material condition MMC for the strip width for option 2 will be 33.246 mm. Divide the sheet metal's length by the MMC of the strip width, to calculate the number of strips produced from the sheet metal. We will get 75.2 strips. Practically 0.2 strip is of no use. Hence, we can utilize only 75 strips. Divide the width of the sheet metal by the pitch, to calculate the number of components that can be produced per strip. We will get 15.2 components. Practically 0.2 component is of no use. Hence, we can utilize only 15 components per strip. Multiply the number of strips per sheet metal, and the number of components per strip to calculate the total number of components per sheet metal. So, by slitting the sheet metal along its width, we can produce 1125 components. Compare option 1 and option 2. By slitting the sheet metal along its length, we can produce 1183 components. By slitting the sheet metal along its width, we can produce 1125 components. By slitting the sheet metal along its length, we produce a higher number of components. Hence, we shall select option 1 for our design. Divide the total utilized area, by area of the sheet metal and calculate the material utilization. The total utilized area is nothing but the product of the total number of components per sheet metal in the area of the component. The area of sheet metal is the product of the length and width of sheet metal. By substituting the values, we can find that material utilization is 68%. The remaining 32% is scrap. 
we can always slightly adjust the tolerances and the values of the edge bridge to increase the utilization. Increasing material utilization is always profitable for our company. With this, we have successfully calculated the material utilization. That's all, in this e-learning module. Thanks.